Sufra Jazz 2024, the ultimate experience, will go down in the history books. The Sufra Mini Stadium on Sunday, May 5th, came to life with a star-studded national roster of artists and electrifying performances by headliners Nyla Blackman, Skinny Fabulous, and Taurus Riley. The event, hosted by the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, through its events arm, the Sufra Events Management Organization, SIMO, by all accounts, was a huge success. The Corporate Communications and Marketing Manager at the SRDF, Lovely St. Amy Joseph, says that the feedback from patrons is the reason the SRDF continues to do what it does. It's about the impact on the community. It's the whole purpose of community jazz. So our accommodation sector, our vendors, the president of the Vendors Association has already reached out. They're so looking forward to next year's edition of jazz. Uh, the patrons had a great time. And of course, none of this would have been possible without our partners, our sponsors. Uh, some people refer to them as sponsors. I like to refer to them as partners in development. This year, Sufra Jazz saw a new component, a title sponsor, and Shasne Jade Mountain Resorts. The manager of Shasne Jade Mountain Resorts, Jonathan Shabatis, says the organization is committed to community development in all aspects. We are passionate about our communities. We are passionate about our island. We want to see our people grow. We want to see our people come together. And I think our people love music. We noticed that even with the other events, even like Carnival, we noticed that there's such a disharmony, you know, type of engagement of everyone. St. Lucia Jazz and Sufra Jazz has kicked off really nicely and we, you know, we saw the development in it and we saw how it's developing our people and encouraging, you know, more of a local talent. So we have, you know, we have committed into continuing the sponsorship as big as we can. The Member of Parliament for Soufre Francais Jacques, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, lauded the SRDF for putting on an event of such a calibre and encouraged members of the public to continue supporting the Soufre Jazz product. Look around you, we're at the stadium and people are there body to body, jam-packed. I want to thank the people of Sufre. I want to thank all of St. Lucia for being in Sufre. And again, it's very encouraging to welcome everybody here. I like the energy, I like the feeling. I really want to thank the Sufre Events Committee, the chairperson, Mr. Auger. You have persons like Mr. Rock and his team. I know they worked hard and long and hard. And more than wow. anything else, I also want to thank all the sponsors. Significant sponsorship. I really want to thank them for supporting Sufra Jazz. Minister for Tourism, Dr. Ernest Hilaire, gave Sufra a thumbs up for a well-executed event. The crowd is fantastic. I mean, the layout is really, really good. I mean, just looking at how the different, you know, elements are laid out, it's really exciting. Sufra, probably after main stage, is the biggest jazz event, um, our largest fringe um, jazz event. So, you know, a lot of people will be coming there. They have a fantastic lineup. And of course, once it, it gets rolling, um, it, it will be great. The Sufra Regional Development Foundation says this event would not be possible without its corporate partners and enthusiastic patrons. Organizers say the goal is to top the ultimate experience next year. From the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, I am Genevieve Gonzague.